feel really blessed I'm sitting with Sri Sri Ravi Shankar and I have so many questions I need to ask you. I know you don't have much time, but there are a few which and I'll really love it if you answer them. So my first question is, uh, uh, what do you think exactly is the scenario as far as peace uh, is concerned in the Northeast right now? You know, the, uh, I feel there is a big hope now. There's a hope and people are coming together. Um, I mean, they're tired of violence. It's too long, 38 years of militancy has taken toll of uh, so many lives. So I think they are uh, looking for a new beginning now. Okay, uh, somebody, somebody had asked you some time back that uh, why now, after so many years, uh, suddenly that uh, you have uh, come here and come to our aid, actually. We always welcome people who come to help us. You could, you could have come a few years See, but I have been here for quite some time. You know, the peace talks and uh, bringing people together cannot happen overnight. It's a hard work being done for several months, several years, in fact, talking to people and making, uh, bringing them together, listening to them, giving a fair hearing to them. Like today, the Naga group people said, no more tears, now we have found a place where we can find solace. So uh, this sort of work takes some time. So though today is, uh, is a formal uh, inauguration of the platform, but the background work has been happening since several uh, months, actually, several years. You and the others have been making quite an effort in the past uh, some time. But uh, Poresh Borwa and NSCNK, they are yet to come forward and join the talks. Uh, are you in touch with them or are they in touch with yes, you? Yes, uh, we do. I mean, I respect Paresh Borwa and he is one who has spent, has inspired a lot of youths in the past and he has sacrificed a lot of his uh, young age and time for the sake of his people. I would like him to come back to the house. You know, if you want to change anything in house, you cannot do it from outside. You have to be in the house to change the house. That is what I would invite him to come back to India. Uh, is there a chance? Do you believe uh, in any way that uh, by chance if these groups don't come forward for talks, do you believe peace will come back to the region? I'm very confident they will all come back to talks. And one last question. Uh, you said that uh, there still is some conflict here, but the situation here is much better than what it was 10 years back. So uh, would you really say there is a, do you see any problem happening right now? Any kind of violence happening right now here? I don't foresee anything because I, s I know that people are fed up of violence. They want progress. They want change. So uh, people are all looking for a brighter future. Just two more quick questions. One is, how do you deal with criticism? You have been facing a lot of criticism even recently. No, I welcome criticism. I am not shy of any criticism. And, uh, there is a saying in Hindi, Ninda ke nire rakhiye. Bina sabun tel ke saaf kar de sab kuch. <laughs> and uh, one last question, since you are talking See, about... criticism happens on two occasions, if they really find some fault with us. And I thank them. Another count is they are jealous about our work, they are unhappy about whatever we are doing. That is their problem. I ignore them. And uh, in addition to all the social work, uh, all the kind of works that you have been doing over the years, you are also, also launching Ayurvedic products. Anything special for the Northeast today? Yeah, it can give uh, employment to many youths in this region and it can give uh, very good products, uh, home delivery to people so they can enjoy the goodness of Ayurveda.